brought to you through the regional support of First Five Fresno County, First Five Tulare County, and First Five Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. Hello, I'm Winita Stevenson. Welcome to Zero to Five in 30 Minutes. Dealing with separation because of deployment, it can be a huge challenge for military families. While they may frequently spend much of their time apart, one local family proves that they can manage to remain very close at heart. Desiree Pruitt is a mom to three little ones, Hunter, Nyla, and Neralee. Dad is gone quite often. He's a pilot for the California Air Guard. We are not able to show you a photo due to the nature of his work. He had a month and a half to be home with us and then he was off again. So we go through a lot of different transitions with him coming and going back and forth. Desiree says preparing for a husband's deployment can be tough. My husband helps me with the kids quite a bit, so he's very involved in their lives. So we go through the transition period of the kids get real emotional, real clingy, and then when he does leave, it gets worse. And then we go through our anger period where they get really upset because they understand he has to be gone for his job. And uh, then we get to our normal period. So our transition period is usually about three weeks long. Her son Hunter shares a poem he wrote for dad. My heart, don't leave me, don't leave me. Oh, I love you, don't leave me. I want to hug you before you go. The children know dad is overseas, but Desiree says they talk about their feelings a lot, which helps provide comfort. My two oldest ones, um, my six and eight year old, they have a clear understanding of what dad does. Maybe the older one more so because he knows his dad is overseas. He has the understanding there is a war. And um, as I said, we keep him focused that dad's helping other families right now and he'll be back before you know it. And they have, they have a clear understanding of what he does. The little one, she's not so much. She just spends her time missing him. <laughs> Desiree has come up with some strategies to help the kids cope. He's missed a lot of first, like first teeth, first talkie goal, things like that. So we make sure we put a lot of detailed emails together for him. We save the box of all the spelling tests, art projects, anything that goes on during dad being gone that the kids really want to show him. And the kids really appreciate letters from dad. He sends a lot of letters and he'll pre-write some of the letters and leave them at the house so the kids can find them. Um, we do a lot of emails, you know, when we can. Another great means of support is the Air Guards Family Readiness Group, Barbara Drawn is the coordinator of the program. Each one of us work with our families uh, to make sure that all of our military members are prepared for deployment. They have all of their paperwork in order. They understand what the resources are that are available to them and their family members. Barbara's office is filled with resources free to military families. And that includes materials that will help children understand the separation while helping them feel connected with their dad and his job. I eat lunch here, he eats lunch there. We have a, a lending library for children so that um, parents can read to their children and help them understand the um, separation that they may experience when the parent is gone to understand what does it mean when they're going to be gone for several months. They provided us a military calendar so the kids were able to, you know, mark the days off every day that dad was gone in hopes to the return date. If needed, counselors are available to families. We have uh, military family life consultants within the California National Guard, so that's a new resource for us and we tr are trying to take advantage of that. Um, and they can provide counsel to the children as well as to the family, uh, to the parents. Another benefit of the program is that it can help give the person who is deployed some peace of mind. They even have a program where volunteers, if your water main breaks or your fence falls down, your stove breaks, they have people that are also military members that provide help with the thought of it's 
to take care of the families. That way the person who's deployed doesn't have to worry about what's being done. They are proud to do their part as dad serves his country and the Air Guard provides that extra needed support. You never know when you're going to hear from them next. You don't know if they're okay. It's all very unknown and it's not quite the same and it's a big struggle for the military families and that's why we rely on the bases so much and the family readiness groups because they're they're kind of our connection and our lifeline to anything we need. While the Pruitts may not be your typical family, they are caring, connected, and make every moment count. We're a very close family and I know that's what gets us through our deployments and him being gone because we have each other to support on even when he is gone and the kids you know they're good about that and the best part of it is we're close together we're close as a family brought to you through the regional support of first five fresno county first five tulare county and first five madera county because it's all about the kids <laughs>